Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to do the eye pieces. Um, for this, you're going to need a needle, your uh, five millimeter hook, um, your velvet yarn, um, and your 18 millimeter eyes with the backs and scissors. I think this is the part of my pattern that I elaborated the most on, let's say, because I completely just realized I completely left off the how to um, put on the ears and arms and legs. So I will redo the whole pattern assembly wise. Okay, so what you're going to do for the eyes, I always, um, you know, make your slip knot. Since you can't really do magic ring, even though I put magic ring on there, it's pretty much personal preference. And I think I wrote that in the notes. Um, I chain two and go back into the first chain and I make six single crochets. So one, two, I wanna make it kinda loose too and I'll show you why. There's three, four, five, six. And I can see, okay, um, and then you want to slip stitch to that first stitch or that first single crochet. Okay, so slip stitch. Now, cut a, I guess, pretty decent size tail because this part you are going to use the velvet yarn to sew it on. So, okay. You have your piece here, your little... Let me move this out of the way. You have your little piece here, okay? Zoom in. Six single crochets, okay? Now what you're going to do with this piece is take your 18 millimeter eye, stick it right in the center. Just like that. Slightly pull all those stitches to the outside of the eye to where it looks like an eyelid, okay? This is the part of the pattern I've seen that most people have a problem with. Okay, so once you have that on there like this, put the back on. Snap that back on there pretty good. Okay. So it should look like this. All right, let me do the other one real quick. I'll show you how to put them on the face. So do your slip knot. Chain two. And back into that first chain. My kids think it's funny when I pull that slip stitch out because they say it's snowing because the end of this velvet yarn kind of comes off and goes everywhere. <clears throat> so anyway, let's do that same thing to the second eye. Got your piece here. Put your eyeball right in the center. Not eyeball, safety eye. Pull those stitches kind of out and around. There we go. And then put that back on there. Okay. There we go. All right. Set the, that to the side over here. There's my eyes. Okay. And grab my hippo. 
All right, let's lay them down here. I feel like I do surgery, like I'm some kind of doctor when I assemble these animals. Okay, <laughs> plastic surgeon. Okay, so take your eyeball. I'm gonna have to stand up to do this so I can see what y'all seeing. This camera's too high. All right, now when I line this up, pretty much I just lay them on the face to see where they're gonna be. Okay, so I put them right here and I always push them in. Oh, that looks perfect. It's the first time too. They look, okay, this, when I look at pictures that people have sent me of the hippos they made, besides these strings hanging out, this is how it looks. And this is why I'm making these videos. These eyelids are meant to make the eyes look sunken in and babyish. So when you do your facial sculpting, they should end up kind of more into the head and look like they surround the eye. They shouldn't look like they're sticking out like this. So it all takes practice and uh, that's why I'm making these videos is to help you guys learn. So to sew on these eyes, I usually leave them right where they are. Take my needle, use the velvet yarn this time, not acrylic. Let's see if I can zoom in here without kicking my camera stand. Okay, move them down a little. And what you are going to do is hold the eye in place and use the stitches around, you know, of the eyelid to sew it onto the face. And usually I always go for that back loop back there. So go for the back loop, in and out, in and out, all the way around. That tail kind of gets in the way, it's fine. Um, here, let me just park my needle there. Take my hook and go ahead and pull that end in. So it's out of the way now. Take this, um, your needle, go in, come back out on this side. I mean, this all takes practice too, so go back in, come out. I'm hoping this is all staying in the camera. Go back in that stitch. Come out. I think it's getting all twisted around it. That's okay. Yep. Closer to the eye. There we go. As close to the eye as possible. Back loop. I'm gonna go back up here to the top because it looks like that stitch up there is a little sticking out a little bit too far. Right? Oh, that's where the tail went in. Put that down in there. Okay, now I'm tacking this stitch down again because it looked too bulky. And then I'm gonna come out down here because when I do my facial sculpting, it will hide the knot. So come out down here the bottom of your eye, right up next to your nose, and tie a knot. This can be kind of tricky if you don't have much yarn left, but it's doable. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There we go. And usually one little knot with this velvet yarn is good, because I'll tell you what, it is not easy to undo a knot with velvet yarn. Now what I'm going to do is take my hook, put it in somewhere underneath the nose, come up in that same stitch, grab that velvet yarn, and pull her down in there. Now, when you get done with your eye, hang on, I'm going to have to tuck that one I tucked down in there earlier again, but I'll tuck it down closer this time. Just letting you guys know, I'm not perfect either. As you can tell, I forgot to add how to, or where to add the arms and legs on my pattern. I can't believe that. Okay, so when you get done with sewing on your eye, you want it to look like this. You don't need a whole bunch of the eyelids sticking out around. And <clears throat> to be honest, 
I think I described this on my pattern. Well, that looks funky. It's a one-eyed hippo. Um, I described this on my pattern, or I was stated this. The whole reason I did the eyelid piece was because I made a mistake. I um, sewed the head and the body together before I put the eyes on. So this, um, hang on, Bubba. So this is how I, yep, yeah, just a minute. This is how I um, attached the eyes and it ended up really cute. So, so I mean, that eye, yeah, about right there. I'm gonna start sewing it on. In. I'm almost done, I'm on the last eye. My husband wants to come in and take a shower and get ready for work. He's keeping the kids out there for me so they'd be quiet. Heston. <laughs> Mommy. Okay. I'm going to go on all these stitches around. If you can't get it, sometimes you got to kind of pull them out from the underneath. Just got to work with it. I mean, it's yarn. Yarn in your hands. It's all about just working with what you got. If you mess up, pull it out. Do it again. That's what I always do. I mean, unless there's a knot, then that kind of sucks, but... All right. I think that looks good. This looks a little... See how you see this is sticking up up here? A little too fluffy for me, so I'm going to re-poke my needle down in here. And come out down here towards the bottom. So hopefully that'll be my last one. It pulls it down in there good. Yeah, it looks good. Now, since I still have this tail out, I'm going to do this eye a little bit different. I'm going to tighten it out like this. Just kind of tie it up underneath the eye. And you can do it either way. It just depends on how, you know, what your preference is. And I'm going to cut this. And, holy crap, the wind's blowing. All right. <clears throat> Stick this in here, right underneath where those stitches are. Hook them onto my hook and pull them in. There we go. Now, um, look, it already looks like one of my hippos. You just sink those eyes in there. So, um, let me see how I did that. Because I did it different for the cow and for the hippo, so let's see. Oh, I said, okay. Um, nose, and then I did ears. On. Oh, I, I put the arms and legs on there. Jeez. I hadn't had my coffee this morning, that was my problem. I'd only had half a cup, I wasn't reading steps two, three, and four, and five. Okay, eyes. Okay, on my pattern, it has these right here and it shows you what order to go in and out. Okay, so let's see, for the eyes, like I said, this is a personal preference of placement. So, um, that means you can either put them on, um, actually attach them to the inside of the head before sewing it to the body, but the problem with that is um, you, when you sew your nose on, it may, they may not be in the right place. So again, that's why I did it this way, um, of putting the eyes on after I attach the head to the body and the nose to the face. So, <clears throat> um, so what I'm going to do to indent the eyes, you insert hook into the same stitch at the back of the neck. Oh, I need to change that to needle. Okay, so here's how we do this. Long piece, let me zoom out. Jesus, I'm making myself dizzy. Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is not a professional video, okay? This is me explaining how I make my Amis. And like I said, I think the coffee's kicking in. All right, get you a long piece of yarn, acrylic yarn. Here we go. 
Okay. Now. Let it focus, focus, focus. Okay. Yellow is an out stitch. Red is an insert stitch. And I will show you how that's done. I think I usually start on the right eye though, but I'll do it like the pattern says. Because I think, okay, anyway. So flip your hippo over. Go into the back of the neck. I'm gonna go in. You wanna make sure it's aligned kind of in the center because here's my knot, okay? Here's my knot from when I sewed the head onto the body. I wanna go into like this stitch, just pick that one. You're going to come out the front of the face right underneath that eye where that yellow dot is on your page or on your picture there on the pattern. Pull until I'm gonna say you have this much yarn left. Okay. Pick a stitch where that red circle is, right there. Then you're going to come out where the blue dot is on the other side by that eyeball on your pattern, like right there. See that? Pull that through, making sure it doesn't get stuck on the nose. Then you're going to go in where the green circle is on your pattern, like in between, right between the nose and the eye. You're gonna come back out the back of the neck, preferably, hold on, I gotta hold my needle. Preferably where you tied your knot for your head. Loop, loop right there, see? And a few stitches over from where you inserted. Now, what you're gonna do is flip your hippo around while you hold onto these two strings back here, and you are going to pull pull. Okay? Pull them until you get the right indention right where you want it. Okay? Now, there is still more facial sculpting to be done. So, once this part, you don't want to do it too much. Okay? That just sinks them way down in there. Just pull them enough to give them pretty much a little bump right here and to sink them down into the nose to where you cannot see your knots. Just like, like that. Perfect. So, flip your hippo over. Take your needle off. Let me zoom in. Now these, I think I cut a little bit too long of a string here, but it also helps because you hold your placement of your eyes while you tie your knot. There we go. Now before you tie that first piece, look at your hippo's face. Make sure the placement or the indention is still where you want it. If not, Tug them strings in the back, tighten them up just a bit. There we go. Flip it over. Finish tying those knots. I always tie three knots. There we go. Cut the strings off. Boop. And stick your hook in here. This is the most important part of this entire pattern, okay? is the facial sculpting. This is what makes your hippo have the babyish look. So you could leave it like that. I have one more facial sculpting um, thing to do though. So I'm going to use the leftover piece from that um, part and I'm going to show you how to do this part of the pattern. For facial sculpting, you can take a long piece of yarn and insert it into the inner upper eye. Oh, I need to fix that spelling correction. Cinch them closer together, giving them more of an indented look. Needle placement in images shows where the needle, where to insert needle in order to cinch eyes. Okay, so see these images? They're above the eye and under the eye. So let's do that part. Thread your needle. Insert your hook here and get as much stuffing back behind your needle before you come out this side. You really want to make this stick up in between. Pull through, 
till you have a decent strand, you know, a decent tail. Go in to this stitch down here. Get as much stuffing back there behind that eye as you can, or behind your needle, and come out that bottom stitch down there, okay? Push it through. Now, put that tail up there. Reinsert, but do not split your yarn. Do not split this yarn, because if you do, you won't be able to cinch it correctly. Put your needle back in here, much stuffing back behind that eye, and come out that same stitch as you did on the top on this side. Now, again, take these two strings, zoom in. Why is it clearer when I zoom in than when I zoom out? Pull. Cinch those eyes up a little bit more. Cinch, cinch, cinch. There we go. Hold this um, yarn tail over here. Reinsert your needle through this bottom one. Bottom stitch. When you come out, pull. Now, tie a knot. Get that knot up as close to the eye as you can. I don't know who's in here. Somebody's making noise. Okay. Snip them off. Take your needle. Pull them down underneath the nose. And there's your cute baby face. Okay. Now let's do the mouth. Super, super easy. Get a piece of yarn, acrylic yarn. Sorry guys, I got the needle in my mouth. I'm trying to hurry up with this video. My husband's wanting to come in, so. I don't want to rush you guys though. Huh? Okay, get a piece of yarn, thread your needle, into the back of the neck. Pretty much where your others two, other two, where it doesn't really matter where. Just insert it back here. Um, and from the center part of your nose, come down to about here. And you want your needle to come out there. show you once I get it okay so you can see your seam here you're gonna come down about one two like right there in that third between your third and fourth row I guess you're gonna pull it until you have where's my tail yeah that's good enough now reinsert and uh, like I said you want to make it even with this or not even but slightly slanted so pretty much from your eye to your ear, you want to come down, and that'll be this side of the mouth. So when you go back in, come down this side, you want to skip about, let's see, one, two, three, four, let's do five. Let's see how that looks, because that's, yeah, that's pretty, okay. So insert your hook, about five stitches from where it was on that side. Come out the back of the neck. Oh, sorry, about a few stitches over from where you inserted. Take your needle off, grab a hold of these two strings, flip your hippo over, and you can see where it's already starting to end it, and you just want to pull. And you may have to redo this part a few times just to make it look right. I think I'm going to redo mine just because it looks crooked for some reason. Looks like I need to move it wider. So, but anyway, that's how you do that part. Um, I have a better um, video on how to do the mouth on the cow video. So head over to my YouTube channel and you can watch that video. Um, I gotta let my husband in. He's ready to get going this morning. So thanks for watching guys. And I hope this better explains my pattern. I will add these links to my pattern. If you have purchased the pattern and the links are not on there, Please email me proof of purchase and I will uh, send you a new edited uh, pattern. Thanks for watching guys. Um, I hope this helps.